trying to clean some of this rust off of here, get this mating surface a little nicer before I get, you know, just trying to do some cleanups on some stuff before I get the assembly going here. Just broke my good snap ring prior, so I'm using this piece of crap. piston so I need to get this and I put a new wrist pin and new rod on it but I'm using the pistons. So. so the way that I'm pulling at the number side of the connecting rod is going to the bottom was there. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> There's his morning smile. Oh, goody. <laughs> Except for advice. I can mess that up pretty quick. Offset the ring gaps. Assembly lube. Number side goes up to the side with the uh, oil filter on it. What position is the crank in over there? I forgot to spun it to clean that off. It's all the way down for that one, all the way down here. Okay, so it's at the low side. Hmm? That's where it needs to be. Okay. Yeah, so you can push it all the way in? Yeah. And that's twisted slightly. Which way's it gotta go? Uh, it's got a little more this way. Like, the top this way. Am I turning it? No. Uh, did it right there. Should do it now. It's in position? I think. Push it, Mama. Looks okay. Still going good? I have a long screwdriver. Let's pick it up. Clean that screwdriver. <clears throat> okay, push. Keep going. Guess it? I would say that's on. Okay. Number side up. We have assembly lube on the crank. I need 
to go to refer to the manual for the torque setting on this. The book says 5.5 kilograms, and I can honestly say I have never once used the metric side of my torque wrench ever in my life. round and round. That's how it's supposed to go, up and down. using these pistons but this one was super rusty the, the rings didn't even want to come out they were like rusted to it so I'm gonna clean that up real good okay that, uh, that piston cleaned up really good okay. we're making progress because last when I took this engine apart, none of that moved. <laughs> So the oil pan bolts on this, there's four little ones and then everything else are these longer ones. The four little ones go, one goes here and here and then opposite on this end over here and here. And those are threaded directly into, into this little adapter plate. You see there's like a standoff plate here and then the longer ones go all the way through and end up going into the block through that plate. So if you ever get confused, that's how it goes. bottom end is back together. Now, the hard part, because I didn't remove anything else on this engine, so the whole top end, I have no idea how it goes together. This should be quite fun. So the little tappets down there for the push rods, they were rusted in place. This one I haven't freed up yet, but I've just been spraying them with some lubricating oil and then using a, a quarter inch drive extension. Uh, you see how nasty that is? But uh, I was able to, this is the one I've already got. All of these are moving already and cleaned up, so it's just a matter of getting them lubricated and then moving. And then over here, I'm just gonna make sure that these are all working now. Ooh, there's a name to the muscle now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, left one's going up and down. That right one's still being finicky. Okay, let me keep working on it. So far, they're all freed up except for that last one. Just slightly clean this up a little bit here. Couple little spots. Just clean up a little more where there's a little rust, like right here. Head gasket on here. Uh, add the head gasket on. There we go. It's okay to put WD on this, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 he loves that. He loves it so very, very much. Oh, 
got there. Start on the middle ones, one, two, and then go like three, four, five, six, and you know, keep going out towards each end. Uh, 5.5 5 the first time, and then like nine the second time uh, for uh, the metric meters or whatever programs. Okay, just putting the push rods in now. Torque spec on those two. So I'm putting the injectors in, there's a little heat control tip that's already, it's down in there already. You need to, one of them it was stuck in and the other three, it came, other two it came out with the injectors, so we need to figure out which one it went into. Um, and we're missing, again I didn't take any of this top end apart, this was done years ago. So the hold down bolts are missing, so I just figured out what those are. He's going to go to Ace Hardware and pick up some bolts. We're missing the exhaust manifold. Uh, the studs came out, but we're going to replace them with bolts if that's possible. They're four inch long. Um, so we'll see how that works out. And then I'm going to go through and set the top end. I haven't set anything on that yet. Um, I just made sure that it, everything was turning over by hand. Uh, so they're, they're not, the, the clearances aren't set yet. I'll need to do that and then uh, just get a few more things put on it and we're doing pretty good. Um, I asked him to order all of the gaskets that attach to anything on the head and the guy at the end where dealer said oh it's just the head gasket but so I don't have this gasket here um, so I'll scrape that off and use Permatex that's just intakes I'm not worried about that but like the water pump gasket that didn't come with it and more importantly the exhaust manifold gasket didn't come with it so I'm going to reuse the old one for now um, just to get this thing going see if it's going to run or not. And then if it is, he can take that exhaust manifold back off and check it. So we're getting really close to turn this thing over and starting it up. Yeah, see if it starts. <laughs> this job is especially hard for me because I don't carry any metric tools on my bus. Everything I work on, you know, it's old Detroit stuff So and buses and they're all SAE things. But I forgot, I do have one metric tool. <laughs> I 
I've used it a lot. So I'm setting the valve clearances on here. They are 0.2 millimeters for both the intake and exhaust valves. Okay, it's coming oh, out of this. That's good. Where's Let's the add a little bit more to that again? Just go slow, real slow. Yeah, just a second. Where's where's the cap? Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's gonna drain out of this. Much of that because it was starting to run. Yeah. Hang on, these are so hot. That's why I'll tell you a little bit if it starts to do it. And if it doesn't, I'll give us some of that. I'll give us some. Okay. Yeah. Right? Let's, let's see what she did. Okay, that and this. Okay. Okay. 